Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we'll see how to use Git version semantic versioning in Azure DevOps CI CD pipeline. Now this Git version semantic versioning helps you to generate version numbers for your artifacts. I'm assuming that you have already installed Git version. If not, then you can go to git version.net and under usage under command line installation, you can go through that. I will not go through those things in this session. Rather, I want to focus on versioning modes. Git version allows three versioning modes, continuous delivery, continuous deployment, and mainline development. In this session i will focus on mainline development using git version when we use versioning mode as mainline development we will be always developing on the main or master branch and the main branch is always in a state that it could be deployed to production another feature of this is that you fix going forward you do not revert back so if you have discovered a defect or a bug you will immediately fix directly into the main branch and release it once uh, the tests pass for that also the version numbers it generates are predictive and indicate what the next version to be released is so you do not need to worry about tagging and then bumping the version when you feel like it is ready to be released because development is happening directly on the main branch and your pull requests are verified tested and release ready when they are merged into main so main is always available to be deployed into production so let's see this example and uh, this is what we'll try to achieve in this session. Uh, we'll have a master or main branch and we'll start uh, with a tag 2.0.0. So with this version, we'll start uh, the master branch and two is major version. Uh, the second one is minor version and the third one is patch version. Then we do bug fixes, then we increment the last version. We increment minor version when there are features, new features are added. And the major version is added when we add some breakable fixes or features which can break the old functionality so so master starts with uh, version 2.0.0 and we branch it out and create a new branch by name feature and this is a new feature which developer will work on and they will work on their local setup they will do some commits so here the developer has done two commits and then this code is pushed to azure devops remote repository so this whole setup will show in azure devops ci cd pipeline and as soon as the feature branches Post to Azure DevOps, it runs CI pipeline and generates this type of version 2.1.0. So you can see it immediately understands that this is feature branch and it should update the minor version by one so this feature branch when finished running you can go ahead and create a pull request if pull request passes then you can merge this pull request into main or master branch now here everything is decided at this point in master when the merge happens so the master version bumps up from 200 to 2.1.0 and you can see one feature commit happens here now let's say there is some issue found so another developer will check out another branch for bug fix and will do some commits to fix it and when it pushes it to remote azure devops it generates this particular version 2.1.1 for that fix which is being created a pull request is created and pull request if it builds fine then you can merge this fix directly into the master and master will pump the patch version now so because this is a bug fix so the patch version will be incremented by one so the master will become 2.1.1 and this can be now deployed so this is what we will try to achieve using mainline development and this is very simplest one because there are only two branches which we will consider feature branch and bug fix branch and using that the main or master branch will always be ready for getting deployed into production so now i will show you how to configure git version and what all things you you need to add in your pipeline to make use of it this is quick view of the pipeline which i will be using to demonstrate today the pipeline will trigger whenever something is merged into main branch or whenever bug fix branches pushed or feature branches pushed also this pipeline will run on my self-hosted agent on my laptop now there is a task git version execute which will use the git version.yaml file which i have added in my repository i will show you the content here and it will take the git version dot semantic version which it calculates for that particular branch and it will display and that semantic version can be updated to the build number which azure devops creates so this is the pipeline and let me show you the git version dot yaml so this is a custom config for git version.yaml file and this file you have to save it with your repository and mode is mainline and for feature branch i am adding a tag 
with feature minus branch name and for the fixes uh, there is a hotfix branch and this will have a tag fix minus branch name that's it nothing else the rest is all left as default now the next step is to clone this repository so you can go to the project and then copy this cloning link so once you have cloned the repository as i have done here my repository is go minus project and i am the main branch right now you have to do one more small configuration so that the minor version can be incremented whenever the branch name starts with feature and whenever branch name is hotfix we will not do anything and by default mainline development increments the patch number so to do that you have to enable a git hook to make changes to the commit message whenever the branch is feature branch so let's see the git hooks we have to go to dot git slash hooks and these are all sample hooks provided we are going to make change to one of the hook called prepare commit message dot sample so you can just make a copy of this cp make copy of this into another file by name prepare commit message no extension just this dot sample should be removed so the file should become prepare commit message and the content of this these are the contents for this file if you see here we are taking the branch name and figuring it out whether that branch is a feature branch and if the branch name matches with feature slash then it adds this particular string to your commit message and this is done automatically so developer can actually add their commit messages freely without realizing that when they submit that comment message this string will be appended by this particular git hook so this change you have to do and make sure once you copy this hook into file you have to change the file to executable by using ch mode plus x the file name and that way the script will become executable script and it can be run so now our pipeline is set up our local repository is configured and set up so we are good to try our demo and this is what we'll try to see we will create a branch, do some commits and see that how master version increments, the minor one only. And then we will create a bug fix or hotfix branch for fixing the bugs. And then that should only increment the patch version. So let's go to Azure DevOps and in your repository, go to tags, click new tag and let's add 2.0.0. So new tag added and then we will go back to our local environment and make sure you pull a test from main we'll see the branch there is nothing so we'll create one branch branch name has to be features slash and you can give any name the branch so we added one now now we'll make some changes so for demo purpose i'm just making empty changes something like this and you can see here because this is a feature branch so it automatically added this particular string at the end which will help to make git person understand that this is feature commit and the minor version should be bumped up so we'll do one more change and now this is done so we'll do one last pull once more to be sure that nothing has changed in the main branch and now we can push this now we'll go to azure devops pipelines and i already have created this pipeline using our yaml and it has triggered the pushed feature so build has triggered and you can see here it is 2.1 so it has bumped this version and this is a name and there are two commits which we added so dot two now let's go to and this is about to complete if you go to repository you can create a pull request for this you can add i'm just adding some dummy stuff here to show you can see this pr build has succeeded and this can be approved now for merging into main branch complete and we'll delete this particular branch once this is merged into main if you go to pipelines again as you can see it has initiated the merge into main and this is a pull request which was created so the version is 2.1.0 and you can see the merge build is also completed and it is showing the version as 2.1.0 if we go inside and this is a git version execute command 
which shows the details of the Git version. Now we will create a hotfix branch and see how that updates only the patch version. So we'll go back. We'll just pull the main branch again to sync up. And now we'll create a hotfix branch for bug fixing. It's created. Let's, let's check in some code similar to the previous one. So And you can see here the message is left as is there is no string appended because this is not a feature branch so we'll commit some more messages and now we can push these changes to azure devops we'll go back to azure devops pipelines repository pull request and hotfix fix one we'll create a pull request Pull request is created now. So while pull request is running, we'll go to pipelines to see. And you can see it has already calculated the new version as 2.1.1. It's incremented the patch version by one. So it, it has correctly taken that this hotfix is actually for bug fixing. So here for the hotfix is completed. We'll approve it and we'll delete it after merging. So it will initiate merge request on the main. So here it is. Okay, because of this bash.exe, it has failed. We'll just rerun it again. Let's say rerun failed jobs. So you can see in the second attempt it passed. Sometimes the build agent because of the bash.exe not running properly fails the job. But overall the merge for hotfix happened fine and the semantic version increased the patch version by one. So you can see it's very easy to use git version semantic versioning to create your own version numbers for your artifacts. And I found mainline development which is based on the main trunk development is quite easy and useful to have the main branch always available for deployment into production. I hope you like this session and we'll see you in next session. Thank you.